Jeep, isang tanong lang po ito. Uh, ano po ang maaring hakbang ng Barm Government kung patuloy pa rin na hindi kilalanin ng City Mayor na si Cynthia Giani ang authority ng Barm Government po? We don't want to speculate ah. Wala pa namang hindi sinusunod yung City Government of Guatemala. So we'll cross the bridge with the city. So for now, uh, it's speculative. We will wait for further. Maraming salamat po. Next question. Yes, uh, salamu alaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. I'm Alimudin Kedatuan from KTK News Online Media. Ma uh, sabay mapapanood po sa July. Ah uh, sir, ah uh, katanungan ko lang po is yung po bang pondo na manggagaling po sa o oh, yung pondo saan po ba manggagaling? Uh, sa national po ba o mismo dito po sa Bansa Moro uh, uh, o oh, Barm uh, government po. Thank you po. Depende mo sa klase ng pondo. Yung internal revenue allocation will continue to be downloaded from the Department of Budget and Management. Uh, so yung IRA, yung IRA will, will continue to be transferred from DBM to the local government unit. Yung share ng local government unit ng Cotabato City at saka yung 63 barangay from collection ng taxes in the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region, they will get that from the regional government, from the Bangsamoro government. For projects intended for the Bato City, such as roads, uh, bridges, housing, social services, health, uh, that is funded by the regional government, it will come from the uh, Black Grant and the other revenues of the uh, regional government in the Bangsamoro. Thank you very much. Next question, Noel Punzalan. Sir Nagib, ah, that's your answer. Sir, uh, is it safe to say now that uh, Cotabato City would become the capital city of uh, the the, bear, uh, the barn? You, you fixing the seat of the regional government under the organic law is left to the parliament. So it is the parliament that will decide. In the meantime, yung temporary seat of the regional government is now located in the Bato City, which is the Bangsa Oro Government Center. That will stay. Uh, yes, that will be maintained until the parliament decides to uh, fix the regional seat of the government in some other place, uh, if it pleases. Thank you. Last three questions. Yes, uh, Salam alaikum, sir. Uh, John Castro, Panila Star, the same time. Uh, Before the next day, we didn't see anyone change sign. Sir, meron kasing, marami kasing lumalabas sa social media na wala nang nagawa yung barb, no? Pero sir, for clarification lang sir, no? Ilang munisipi na sir yung nabigyan ng ira ng barb? Ako na yung regular internal revenue allotment sa lahat ng local government units in the region. That's 116 na municipalities. Uh, two cities, regular na man yun, and then five provinces regular. Ang nabigyan ng internal revenue allocation as a result of the ratification of the organic law ay 13. Ito yung mga walang ira na municipalities created by the regional legislative assembly that did not comply with national standards. So you remember, for instance, Northern Kapitalan, walang ira yan. Dato ko lang sinuan, walang ira yan. After the ratification of the organic law last year, We certified na uh, kasali sila, we submitted that to DBM at nakakuha na sila ng internal revenue. Thank you very much. Uh, from uh, um, I am Maestro Ray Panso from GXMY Aramid Cotabato. Sir, uh, sino, po yung, sino sino po yung mga official from uh, local government unit ng uh, Cotabato na sumagsi sa naturang uh, turnover ceremony from uh, Region 12 to Bangsa Moroto ng Muslim Region in Muslim Mindanao? I, I understand mayroon silang official letter doon sa invitation and uh, information letter ni Secretary Anyo that the city government of Cotabato will not attend the uh, turnover ceremony. Uh, so wala akong nag-attend sa kanila based doon sa uh, letter nila in reply to the invitation of the Secretary of the City. Right, thank you very much. Last question. Alright, uh, thank you so much. Uh, kay Attorney uh, Sinarimbo, si Benny ulit po sa Radio Bandera, may FM in Chaya. Ano po? 
Ah, uh, itatanong ko po regarding sa North Cotabato, ito nga pong 63 barangay na kung saan na na-turn over nga po sa barn. What will happen to them uh, for the coming uh, election? At uh, inaasahan po ba na magkakaroon po tayo ng uh, probinsya uh, for the 63 barangay and at the same time municipal level? Patungkol po sa elections in 2022, meron na akong resolusyon na dinabas yung Commission on Elections advising the voters from the 63 barangays that they will continue to vote for elected officials in the municipalities and the province of North Cotabato. So that will stand for now. Pertin yung reconstitution of these barangays into appropriate local government units which is a provision under the organic law. So, maaaring gawin ng uh, parliament na mag-create ng panibagong municipio. At ang directive po ni Chief Minister, uh, in the transition, they've been organized into eight clusters. At binisatin, uh, directly under the office of the Ministry of the Interior and Local Government. So, under kami amin yung walong cluster. The whole cluster of the eight is headed by an administrator. Ito yung administrative setup natin in the transition. This is also included now in the provision of the administrative code. So magkakaroon ng corresponding positions when the NOSCA is issued by the Ministry of Finance, Budget, and Management. Mag-appoint tayo ng mga tao doon na magpapakakaroon ng services in the eight cluster of the 63 paragraphs. But by next year, when the result of the national census conducted this year is officially out by March, the parliament will decide whether to create municipalities. That is a power given to the parliament. The creation of a province may come later, which is a power not given to the parliament, but for the national congress to decide. But we will make a study if it warrants and it is for the best interest of the constituents of the 63 barangays that they've been created in the separate barangays, the parliament will act uh, on the basis of that. Thank you. All right, sir, last, last na lang po talaga, bonus. Ah, yes, sir. Um, can we get a statement from you po uh, regarding the, para mapa, mapawi lang yung mga agam-agam na meron ang mga employees ng city government now that they belong to the Bangsamoro government already? <laughs> yung tungkol sa mga city government wala na ang dan wala na, walang problema doon dahil uh, they will continue to serve the city government so kasi ang sa atin lang is supervision we will uh, we will uh, kwan, yung, yung na, na sa atin is supervision of the city. Yung mga employees is still under. At uh, kung matatandaan nyo sa BOL na ang provision ng BOL ay yung mga local government hindi mag-diminish yung ganilang power. So, walang walang So, except for the provision of the government na mga sa atin, wala na mga Thank you. Thank you, sir. Right. Maraming maraming salamat po. That ends our press conference. Once again, thank you very much po sa ating po mga partners, friends,